Very good. I'm no snowflake, but this video doing the rounds on social media left me truly disturbed today. Take a look. So I was just in Primark um, in Cambridge and um, I feel really stupid being emotional about this, but um, yeah, I was trying on some clothes and it was a unisex changing room, which I'm really for and I love that because, you know, it makes everyone feel included. But twice, um, two men walked, opened the curtain, walked in on me. Um, luckily both times I had, I was wearing fully clothed, but I could easily not have been. Um, and I, yeah, it was two different people, um, clearly from the same group. And there was many, like, uh, probably like a hundred changing rooms available. Um, so it's not like, you know, it was like always oh, someone in here or not. It was, you know, clearly, um, yeah, I just want to say to people, please be careful um and if you go in the changing room try not go on your own um i will never be doing that again i would rather take it home try it on and then take it back and get refunded so yeah stay safe she will never go shopping alone again this is progress is it grown men confronting women in a unisex changing room is that what the wonderful all-inclusive groovy woke world looks like now Teenage girls down to their underwear trying on dresses inches away from fully grown men. Does that end well, do you think? Is that the way to go? Women have fought for decades for protection from men. The male species, I'm afraid to say, have been a perpetual threat to women since the beginning of time. Which is why, as well as the push for equal pay and the vote, women in history have fought hard for female-only spaces. And all of that is being undone in the face of inclusion and so-called empathy. Men having the ability to threaten or make women feel uncomfortable in a changing room is a direct result of the so-called be kind movement, who clearly don't want women to be safe. Some of the biggest high street brands in the country either have unisex changing rooms or they allow self-ID, which means that a bloke rocking the full meat and two veg can stride into a female changing room and simply announce that he is a woman. If you don't think this is a bonanza for stalkers, creeps and sexual predators, you're living on another planet. And these changing rooms are a catastrophe for women of faith, including many in the Muslim and Jewish community. They won't go near any of these shops. But the woke nutters that have pushed for unisex toilets are living on another planet too, as are the social media department of Primark, who sent this tweet in response to anger around what happened to that young woman. Here it is. When they say don't shop at Primark, red flag, red flag, red flag. Now, let me explain what that means. In other words, if women are afraid or are uncomfortable around men whilst undressing in a changing room, they're somehow transphobic. That's what Primark are hinting. Welcome to hell. Far be it from me to speak for women. So here is how a number of women online have reacted to this extraordinarily insulting response from the retail giant. How about this from Jessica? This is Primark mocking a young woman who was harassed by men as she was getting changed in their mixed sex changing rooms and who came out shaking and sobbing and had to be walked back to her car. Primark mocking a young woman. How about this from 12 Daisies? The utter contempt shown here for their female customers is lower than anything I've ever encountered. How about this from Female Hoarder of Facts? Absolutely disgusting. The red flags are out for a company that prioritises male fetishes and predators over women and girls' safety, privacy and dignity. How about this from Dr. Pam Spur, a top relationships expert and a good friend of mine? She says, uh-oh, bad move, Primark. Do not mock women's safety concerns. Sort out your changing rooms and apologize. And this is someone called Brian who tweets, read the changing room, you clowns. Full disclosure, we've got unisex toilets here at GB News because we are a startup. Most of the men and women here can't stand them. One of my female colleagues uses the disabled loo instead, and she hasn't even got a limp. 
But it's out of our hands. We are in a rented building. So everything's rented. The office is rented. The studio is rented. This suit is rented. Now, I am super pro-trans, but trans ideology is different. It challenges the idea that there is a biological female and a biological male, something that you're taught in GCSE biology. An extreme trans ideology is hell-bent on erasing women. And the first step is to get rid of female-only spaces. Lesbians are being erased too. Trans ideology tells lesbians that if they're not attracted to someone with a penis who identifies as female, they are a bigot. They are a transphobe. Now, I don't know much about lesbians, but let me tell you, they're not in the penis business. So I will stand up for lesbians and I will stand up for all women who want to undress safe in the knowledge that they are among females only as they try on the latest items of fast fashion. And that insulting response from Primark's Twitter account, hinting that women are bigots if they're afraid or self-conscious, is as cheap and nasty as the clothes they sell. Primark my words, treating women this badly doesn't end well.